New arthritis pill helps stop bone damage. Scientists have found a new drug that can potentially stop bone loss and damage in people with diseased joints. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease caused by the breakdown of protective bone cartilage, often in the knees, hands, hips, and spine. The condition has no known cure, but a new drug called M1V711 has been shown to help reduce bone damage in affected joints. The treatment is based on a molecule involved in bone and cartilage turnovers and works by interfering with a process that leads to joint breakdown. When tested in patients aged 40 to 80, the drug reduced bone loss in the knees by 65% and improved cartilage thickness in just six months. By contrast, those given a placebo reported a slight increase in bone loss. The drug has very few side effects and is reportedly the first to target the diseased bone structure instead of simply managing the pain like most existing treatments. Yup, you're old. Newsflash, fight on the MRT with no foreigners involved. In this video shot by a commuter in Taipei on Wednesday morning, a crazy old bat with some serious scrap is seen accusing a woman of not knowing how to raise her children properly because the little boy brushed her leg. <laughs> then the crazy old lady goes for the gold, smacking the mom several times. When mom retaliates, not even eight men and women can separate them. The video has gotten half a million views on the original uploader's Facebook page and spread to every news website and TV channel in Taiwan. That's pretty sensational coverage for a public fight video which doesn't even involve a foreign person or a celebrity. Whoa, Grandma's coming for your wig. According to the uploader, after the fight ended, Grandma faked like she was passing out, forced two cops to carry her away, then suddenly realized she forgot her hat and screamed for the train not to leave. See, people in Taiwan can scrap too. Yay, world star! Elderly woman cooks grandson's $3,000 pet fish. The red arowana is an incredibly expensive fish and is worth an estimated 3,000 US dollars. Doesn't it look tasty though, especially when steamed and flavored with ginger? Well, a Taiwanese grandmother was apparently thinking along just those lines. A netizen, identified only by his surname Zhang, posted this photo just a few days ago, noting that his friend's grandmother had apparently thought keeping the fish was too taxing on the family's utilities bill. So she decided it'd be a good idea to cook a grandson's pet. The most expensive steamed fish ever. If grandma wants to eat fish, I'm willing to exchange the red arowana with a box of seafood. Curious netizens have managed to dig up a slew of similar stories. Another grandmother, this time in the southern Chinese city of Kunming, cooked the red arowana just three months ago and apparently loved the taste of the fish. Some suspicious netizens are calling shenanigans on Zhang and claiming it might have copied the Chinese report. Walmart greeter fired after wild turkey enters store. What do you do when a wild turkey walks through your door? That's the predicament 88-year-old Walmart greeter Bob Tallinger had to figure himself out of a few weeks back. On March 27th, Tallinger, a greeter for the past eight years at the Wakasha Walmart in Wisconsin, was greeting customers when the rogue bird stormed through the sliding doors. Tallinger and others spent time trying to shoo the turkey out, but the bird had apparently come to peruse the aisles just like everyone else. Eventually, as the turkey browsed the patio section, a member of the local Humane Animal Welfare Society was able to lure it into a net. The bird was later released, and so too was poor Bob Tallinger, upon being told he should have reported the unwelcome customer to a manager. Local news media interviewed Bob and his wife after the firing, who said Bob's job was to greet people, which he was excellent at. The old man was never made aware of staff protocol in the event a wild turkey snuck in. When reached for comment, Walmart issued a statement saying, quote, We appreciate the public's concern and take this situation seriously. While we will not comment on HR matters, we can confirm Mr. Tallinger is no longer with the company. Fortunately, Bob's been recruited and hired at a local nonprofit consignment shop. Greet on, Bob. Greet on. Monday afternoon in Brussels, Belgium. A busker starts beatboxing for the crowds. The beat was already pretty fresh, but somebody's granny decided to put a dip in her hip and get crunk for the crowd. <laughs>
Domestic dispute leaves Houston man living on lawn of million dollar property. An elderly Texas man has been left living on the lawn of his million dollar mansion for six months following a bitter domestic dispute. Sharafat Khan, 69, got the boot from his luxurious Taylor Lake Village home back in March when his physician wife, Shanaz, decided she'd had enough of him. After kicking him out, Mrs. Khan had the locks changed and even posted a sign warning her neighbors not to feed or help her estranged husband. Khan has been sleeping on the lawn ever since, and with winter approaching, his neighbors are starting to get worried. But before you start feeling sorry for this seemingly innocent old man, take this into consideration. The couple's son told reporters his father has refused countless offers of help. He also said that his mom has suffered decades of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his father. And police records back this up, showing Khan was arrested back in 2008 after allegedly hitting his wife. Police have been called to the property around 30 times during the last few months, but they are powerless to remove him as the property is in both of their names. Religious beliefs and arguments over money suggest there will be no swift end to this dispute. Let's just hope someone donates a tent before the colder weather sets in.